Victoria Raznick was born 10 weeks early. She's a twin with a rare problem, a potentially fatal birth defect. Dr. Frederick Alexander is preparing to operate on his tiny patient. About one third of her esophagus failed to develop. So she has a huge gap between the, the upper and the lower portion of her esophagus. What we've done for Victoria since birth is to stretch the upper part of her esophagus. We do that by daily esophageal dilatations. This x-ray shows the ends of her esophagus are nearly together. With no connection to her stomach, a feeding tube's been keeping Victoria alive. She's doubled her one and a half pound birth weight, but this delicate operation she faces requires the utmost skill. The esophagus itself is very small. Um, it's about the diameter of a drinking straw, but a drinking straw that's been essentially cut into two pieces. Because the operating space is so tiny, Dr. Alexander must contort his own body for hours as he carefully attaches the two ends. Lee, this is the moment of truth. Finally, he finishes sewing together the two ends of the esophagus. His goal is for Victoria to be well enough to go home with her twin sister. Our hope then is that by preserving her own esophagus that it will function better so that she can eat by mouth and go home with her sibling. Her parents are anxious to find out if that could be a reality. Everything went great. Okay. Have a seat, relax. She's doing just fine. The two ends of the esophagus came together very nicely. Thank She's you so fine. much. Thank you.